Hi guys, so um, sorry about kind of how wonky this whole thing is. I know this is, was really never done before, um, but uh, we're just going to kind of try and see how this whole vlogging thing works and see if it's um, supplemental to you and your study methods. Um, so before we start, I want to kind of talk about what I'm going to do before um, we actually talk about anything. Um, so... I'm just going to be talking about terms right now, uh, pretty much from the beginning of class until today, um, which is Tuesday, uh, around, so Tuesday of the uh, 12th, excuse me, but, and then so I'll probably do, be doing another vlog concerning other terms later. If I can't do that, which I probably can't, then I'll get to those terms when we actually do that review session on Friday. But until then, um, this will probably, I mean, this huge, a huge chunk of the terms we've already went over. And we really only have one more day to kind of talk about the Renaissance until the test. So I will also put the terms um, in the side link or down below or wherever it is um, of each thing I'm going to talk about. I'm not going to be really specific in some terms because... They're kind of self-explanatory and also, I mean, you can really look them up yourself, um, but they are really important. So, so first of all, I'm going to be talking about the, uh, the actual term Renaissance and humanism. Now, the reason I'm going to talk about these both at the same time is because they really correlate with each other and they parallel with each other. Um, without the Renaissance, there wouldn't have been the concept of humanism. So... Before the Renaissance, there was the Middle Ages, and the reason I'm saying this is so you have a general idea of where it was, which I'm sure you guys all know. And so the general date of the Middle Ages was from 4th century to 14th century. Now this was a huge, huge, huge gap. And the reason I'm emphasizing this is Renaissance was only like 15th century. Like it was a really short time, and that's what made it so vital in art history. There were so many things that happened, so many inventions that happened. Um, and so once the 15th century started, there was this huge economic growth as well as restored sense of civil life. So this meant that the middle class was prospering very significantly. So merchants, bankers, and all these individuals within the middle class were starting to achieve in their wealth, not through inheritance, but rather through personal achievement. And this is completely different from how it was um, in the medieval times. So because the middle class was becoming so wealthy and prosperous, they're able to support more sophisticated subjects like literature and the arts. So this new, new way of thinking of sophistication resulted in the budding of the Renaissance, and by extension, humanism. So the literal translation of Renaissance is rebirth, and this will probably help you guys in understanding what the Renaissance is all about. It's a rebirth of, you know, arts, of education, literature, etc. And so the concept of the Renaissance also heavily parallels with humanism, as I said before which is the power and potential of human beings. So, like I said, they really parallel with each other. So before we start talking about our specific things in general, um, <clears throat> you have to understand that Renaissance was completely different from Renaissance in Europe and Renaissance in Italy. Like, they were two different concepts. Like, they strive for generally the same thing, but in different ways. Um, so, for example, in Europe, their humanism concepts focused on their oil paintings and their iconography, whereas where in Italy they really focused on, um, you know, their frescoes and, um, and the like. And especially linear perspective, because that was invented in Italy as well. So, um, just understand that those are really, really huge differences. Um, additionally, humanism was a really completely, um, different ideal in addition to Renaissance in different areas. So, like I said, um, iconography was a huge concept of humanism and stuff. So, that was really important. 